what happened in if you if you're around in 2017 2018 you know proof of work and utility was really the big sort of thing and then when we got into 2020 it kind of got in my view to be a little bit of a silly season but I do understand the value of NFT and obviously DeFi is a thing and it's it's certainly going to disrupt finance at some point in time. But what ended up happening was, is everybody sort of moved into a different world and stopped looking at proof of work as, you know, the sort of this really the best underlying con- consensus mechanism. So in our case, the answer, direct answer to your question is they are two separate things right now. We have a, a permissionless mining that happens to validate the blockchain. We're about five years through the emission schedule. We're pretty well flatlined now on the emission. Um, you know, we ultimately will be somewhere around a 55 million coin supply when it's all done. We're like at 53 right now. So we're very close to the end of the game there as far as that. And it'll just be the ongoing transactions. But what we envision is this, and we've said this really for a long time. We expect over the next one to three years, just as we expect to transition into full Web3, we also expect to transition out of this consensus model to one that does shift the consensus validation over to the storage nodes. Right now, the storage nodes have no role in consensus. All they do is sit provide storage, storage proofs are cryptographically pulled, and then ultimately they get paid. But Um, We do have a secondary token, which doesn't list on any exchanges right now, that ultimately will become a staking token. It it may not be perfect proof of stake. It'll probably be some blended model uh, proof of storage. We already run storage proof, so that will be part of it. I suspect I'm talking with people at Polygon right now, for instance. I'm talking with a few of the L1, L2 people. I just don't think so like. Helium is a good example as a as a, a deal because they switched to Solana right out of their own mm-hmm. blockchain. And we think we're going to have to do that. But there are still a lot of really valuable um, things like scalability. We can scale to the moon on our own blockchain right now. If we got onto Ethereum, if you remember last year, um, like Filecoin and storage, they had problems because when the um, fees get so high, it makes it hard for them to pay their nodes on the network correctly. And so that then things get to be very challenging. 